What's up guys, King Bimo TV here, gonna do another Chaos Drafts for Ravnica. Take a second, like and subscribe, really appreciate it. I got a new uh, camera, so uh, if you guys, so I had to reposition the thumbnail, so if you think my head is too big, or too small, let me know, or if it's just right, uh, appreciate it. So hopefully it's better, I think it's better, but... All right, first pick, first pack, War Leader's Call, so easy, obviously, first pick. Nothing, you wouldn't even consider anything else here. This card's great. It's one of the best first picks you could have. Uh, Boros is really good in Carlo Manor. It's probably, it probably still holds up in the other Ravnica sets as well. It's a Glorious Anthem, which is an enchantment that gives your creatures plus one, plus one. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it does one damage to each opponent. So just really nice. You want to be Boros, you want to go wide, you want cards like uh, Dog Walker, anything that makes tokens um, is really good. So let's take War Leader's Call. Uh, Alright, next pack. Uh, not amazing, but like fine. There's three rares in this pack, That that's fun. Forensic Gadgeteer is like pretty solid. Um, not sure what anyone took over it. It's not like OP, but it's a pretty solid card. But I'm pretty confident we're going to be red-white here. Um, we're going to try to essentially force it uh, because this card's really good. So Season Consultant is a really nice two-drop. It says whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you get plus two plus zero until end of turn. So again, we want to go wide. This is perfect. It's a nice two-drop. Um, it's not the best second pick. I much uh, would have rather a dog walker or a galvanize or even a shock um, with this pick, but uh, I think we still take season consultant here. Uh, this pack is way better for us. Uh, scapegoat's good. Shock is good. Auspicious arrival's good. Sanitation automaton is good. Uh, I am going to take shock here as our first little removal spell. Wouldn't mind the goat here one bit, but uh, we'll take the shock. Ooh, another good pack. Really good pack for us, actually. Okay, so Gadget Technician is good. Solid. Makeshift Binding, nice removal spell. Case the Gateway Exp Express, nice removal spell. And later, a Glorious Anthem effect. I feel like I'm going to take Fuss here. Fuss here is so good, though. Pay three, put a 1 1 counter on each attacking creature you control. I think this is, this is the card we want for this deck. Um, I think Case the Gateway Express would be my second choice, and then Makeshift Binding. I should have plenty of removal options with Red White, but Fuss is really good. It's a nice kind of end game. Not necessarily you win when you attack and you play Fuss, but you you can a lot of the times, and if not, your team's bigger for next turn. You win a lot of combats that way. Uh, looks like a Vengeful Tracker pick here, which is less good. Um, in these chaos drafts because there's less artifacts, but it is a bear with upside. Felonious Rage wouldn't be bad either. Um, it's a pump spell that kind of makes you a creature as well for one mana, so pretty solid. Case File Auditor is, uh, some people are really high on this. Uh, whenever you solve a case or when it enters the battlefield, look at the top six cards of your library. If you want a enchantment from among them, put it in your hand. I don't think so. I think we take the Vengeful Tracker here. I know Jim Davis loves this card. I I don't love it that much. So I'm going to take Vengeful Tracker. Uh, I like Concealed Weapon a lot. I like Auspicious Arrival a lot. I think I'm going to take Concealed Weapon and hope to table an Auspicious Arrival. We did see one earlier. I think it's possible we could table it. Um, and if we do take Concealed Weapon here, all the cards we've taken are red except for the Season Consultant, so we could, in theory, just splash for War Leader's Call, but we probably won't end up in Boros anyway, so. Alright, Red Herring is really nice in this deck, but Inside Source is just a little better. So, 3 mana, it's a 1-1 one, one, and a 2-2, two, two, so that's 2 creatures, so that's 2 buffs from Fuss, that's 2 pings and 2 buffs from War Leader's Call. Uh, Inside Source is what we want, very happy to have it pick se a 7, although I wouldn't mind Red Herring pick 7 either. Another auspicious arrival. Carla Watchdog is super duper good though. I always, whenever my opponent plays this, I punt. So, 4 mana 3 2 Vigilance, Permanence. 
your opponent's control can be turned up during your turn, which is worse now because there's less morphs. But whenever you attack with three or more creatures, all your creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. So we haven't seen a dog walker yet, which is definitely a bummer because we won't see them in the next two packs. But uh, Carla Watchdog is still our pick here. Uh, I think Orangutan is solid, but it is worse because there'll be less artifacts, right? So I'm going to take Crowd Control Warden here. Um, supports the go wide uh, theory with this red white for sure. And it's got a nice body on it. I mean, usually it's at least a 5 5 when you flip it up, right? So, nice solid creature. Uh, we'll take the demand answers here. I think Auspicious Arrival might have been in this pack, so um, it looks like we may not table one. I think we have one more chance, maybe the next pack. But I'm still very happy with how our deck looks so far. Uh, nothing playable here. But yeah, the, the deck looks good. The deck looks good. And Haas the Vigilante is a playable, so happy to have that. Alright, next pack. This is where i got to read some of these cards. So, whatever. Renegade, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Each opponent can't cast non-creature spells. Mana value greater than number of lands that player controls. How would that even happen? Alright, so this card's not good. This is a constructed card. Uh, Sky Tether, 1 mana, has Defender and loses Flying. Okay, so it's a removal spell. Sort of. Um... Syndicate Messenger solid. Gore Clan Wrecker is solid. Not a great pack for us, but Syndicate Messenger is pretty good. I'm happy to have that. So all these afterlife cards are also good for War Leaders Call, right? Because they'll ping twice. Um, even like Vigilante is nice. It can pump. Um, it can pump this Messenger because it's a two-three. So we'll take the Syndicate Messenger. I think Sky Tether is probably our second choice, but. Rally to battle, plus one, plus three, and untap. So this is a defensive card. We'd much rather plus three, plus one, or even plus two, plus two. Um, so not very exciting. I think we might take another Syndicate Messenger here. Uh, no red card in this pack. So my guess is the person to our left is red. Which is kind of surprising, because I feel like we didn't pass anything too good that was red. So... Uh, not great for us, though. Not for this pack, at least. Um, yeah, so we're going to take Syndicate Messenger again. Not thrilled with it, but I still think it's the right pick. Um, if there was nothing else, I'd probably take Hollowed Fountain, in case I want to maybe splash for something later. But, I'll take the Syndicate Messenger. There's another Syndicate Messenger. Uh, there's a 5 mana 6 5 that attacks each turn. There's a 1 mana 1 1. Azorius Skyguard, 6 mana, 3-3, three, three, flying first strike creatures your opponent's control get minus 1, minus 0. This would be okay. It does cost 6. I don't know what this land does. Uh, gates. No, it's a Gates land. Oh, here we go. This card's good. Okay. 3 mana, 3-2, three, enters the battlefield, pump one of your creatures. So this is good. Great card to play on turn 3 after uh, a Vengeful Tracker on turn 2 or a Season Consultant on turn 2. So this is good. I like Syndicate Messenger a lot too, but I already have two, right? And it is a four drop, so we'll take the Hazda Officer. Alright, we have some red and white cards in this pack, which is nice. We have some good ones, actually. Alright, so never mind about my opponent being red, I guess. Cavalcade of Calamity. Whenever creature you control, power one or less attacks. Nope. Tenth District Veteran's nice. Three mana, two, three Vigilance, and essentially gives another one of your creatures Vigilance. I think we take Skewer the Critics here. Three mana, just a nice like Lightning Bolt. Uh, spectacle cost is one. I think we'll take this here. Right now, for removal, we just have Shock. So um, this will be our second piece of removal, which is good. I do like Tenth District Veteran a lot too, but we'll take Skewer the Critics here. Uh, Burn Bright is very nice in our deck. So is Prowling Caracal. Um, so is Hasta Officer. Bring the Trial, less so. Carnival and Carnage, less so, but still playable, I think. Uh, but we're going to take Burn Bright. Burn Bright. So creatures you control get plus 2 plus 0 until the turn. So this is a nice win condition, just like Fuss. 
Uh, I like having two of these. We didn't get an on the job from the first pack, so I think Burn Bright's the way to go. Um, definitely considering the Prowling Caracal. Two mana, three, one is really nice. So uh, I like Clamor Shaman. Ooh, God, I like I like Caracal a lot. Clamor Shaman, three mana, one, one, Riot. When it attacks target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. That's pretty strong. I, I had some issues. Uh, somebody beat me up with this card uh, a while back. I wish I had more two drops, though. Right now, I really only have two two drops. Versus having my, like, eighth three drop. I still think this this is really good. I don't know. Uh, if I had... I'm taking the Caracal. I, the, cur the curve's too important. Really, really had to think about that one. Um, this doesn't look like we're going to take any of these cards. What's Revival? Return to her creature card, mana three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I don't think we're going to play that. I don't think we're going to play this either, though. What's Revenge? Double your life total? Have your opponent's life total? No, I guess we'll just take this Knight of Sorrows. Another Syndicate Messenger, or a Gravelhide Goblin. I like Gravelhide Goblin, but we don't have green at all. Or we take a third Syndicate Messenger. We're a little bit slower than I'd like. Yeah, I'm going to take the two drop here. Maybe we'll get one uh, one gate or something. We'll take the, the Gore Clan Wrecker here. It is another four drop. I really wish we had more one and two and even... Maybe not three drops, but one or two drops. Nothing here. Uh, this this pack was pretty bleak the first time around, I think. I think there was only one playable in it. I don't know if this is a playable. I don't think so. Five mana, six, five attacks each turn. But this is a one mana, one, two. Nothing good. This doesn't seem like the worst card ever. Um, one mana, one, one, when it dies, do one damage to a target. I'm open to playing that card. Ooh, 13th pick Caracal. That's nice. And I think this thing's okay. Enters the battlefield. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's kind of a steal, right? Would definitely like to lower my curve in the twos and the ones column. I don't know how many one one drops are that are worth playing in the next pack, but probably not many. So we have 14 creatures. That's nice. So if we get two more playables, we'll be at 16. 16 is a good amount. Okay, inescapable gold blaze is solid. It's a little expensive. Pelt collector is good, right? Yeah, Pelt Collector is good. Uh, Invert, I don't think it's worth playing. Collar the Culprit. We just saw that card in the other pack too, right? Essentially. Righteous Blow is solid. Just shocks an attacking or blocking creature. Maximize Velocity, no. Shieldmate's pretty good. 2 mana, 2, 2 Vigilance. I like that. Rubber Belt Boar enters the battlefield. Target creatures, plus 2, plus 0. I like shield mate. <laughs> shield mate a righteous blow. God, I can really go either way here. Yeah, I'm I'm still not sure that was right. Alright. Fresh face recruit, let's take that. There's a righteous blow in this pack, so even if I took the other one, I would have took righteous blow here. So what else do we have here? Goblin locksmith. Uh, creatures of Defender can't block. That's probably not super relevant. 5 mana, 4, 2, Haste Mentor. This card's okay, but I'd much rather have the 2 drop here. And Flight of Equinauts. Equ Equinauts. This card might be fine, right? Um, we're not as go-wide as we'd like, you know, with zero dog walkers. But I think I, I want my 2 drop here. Definitely want my two drop here, and a pretty good two drop at that too, right? It is a, it is a two drop, but it's not just a two drop. Uh, Haunted witness is okay, right? 
so this is kind of like Afterlife. One mana, one, one, with some up, upside. So not the worst card. Do I need another four mana, two, three flyer? I don't think so. Already plenty of four drops. I think I'll take Ornery Goblin here. Just be this kind of aggressive Boros deck. And maybe I could table this Haunted Witness. Although I'm not sure I'll play it. Was there another color we thought about maybe splashing? I thought... I don't know. Take the Goblin. Oh god, is this good? Please be good. Three mana, three damage to each creature. Creatures you can hold get lifelink till the turn. I mean, you don't really want this if you're Boros, right? Three to each creature. Creatures you control gain lifelink. I mean, it'd be really good against a mirror, but... I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't seem really good for us. I'm going to take Righteous Blow. Alright, we're already at playables here. Uh, 3 mana, 3, 2. I don't think this makes our cut here. No, we have better cards than the 3 mana, 3, 2. But none of these other cards make the cut either, so um, let's take the best card in the pack. Maybe Prey Upon. Another Righteous Blow. Uh, this is good, but we don't have any gates, so... Sworn Companions, I think this is worth playing. Make two 1-1s, one -ones. we have to see if we can do more stuff with those 1-1s, one -ones, but I think this might be good. Bodyguard is one of those cards I'm really on the fence about. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the go wide approach. I think we'll end up playing that card. I don't think I'll play two Wonnery Goblins, but it looks like we have enough two drops now. What's this? Street Riot. As long as you turn creatures you control are plus one plus oh and trample. Uh trample's not that important. We'll have a bunch of one ones. Sure strike, plus three plus oh and gains first strike. This is like okay, I think. I don't think we're playing it. I don't think we're going to play Inescapable Blaze or Invert or either of these two, but we'll take the Blaze anyway. Oh, Righteous Blow. I wish I took the Vigilance creature now, especially how many of these Righteous Blows we've seen. Locksmith seems okay, maybe worth playing. We did table Haunted Witness. Uh, this might be worth playing. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we got some cuts to make for sure. I wish we had a gate, huh? A couple Boros gates, that would be nice. We played that in our Nim Visit deck. I think it was pretty good when we uh, played it. Alright, 44. I think Haunted Witness might be pl worth playing. I definitely want to play at least one Righteous Blow. I want as many creatures as possible. I like Concealed Weapon a lot. It's going to be really good for like the stupid 1-1s one and Aftermath creatures I have. I think Gravel Hide Goblin can go. Uh, this we picked earlier when we didn't have much. Like Ornery Goblin's better. Goblin Locksmith's better. So Green is that the other color I said I was thinking about splashing. Um, Vengeful Tracker is another one that's like just not going to be that good. I'm cutting these two drops, but I may add like these two, right? So let's let's put them in. Uh, has the officer inside source sworn companions skewer civic stalwart. I don't really know what to cut here. There's four cuts we have to make. I mean, I guess we'll cut those two two ones we just put in, right? We don't need these. I think we could maybe get away with 16 lands. 
Our curve's three right now. Three is three is definitely we want seventeen lands. Fifteen creatures. I don't want less than fifteen creatures. So I know Sworn Companions is two creatures. I think with Sworn Companions, yeah, they are just one ones, but we have War Leaders Call. We have Burn Bright. We have Fuss. We have Haz the Vigilante. We have Crowd Control Warden. And, uh, and, see, and concealed weapons, so I think we are all right. I think we'll cut demand answers. That's like a non-removal, non-creature spell. We don't really need any of those. So this is a creature. I really want to play, I think, Burn Bright and uh, Fuss. I think I should play both of those. Maybe I'll just cut one Righteous Blow. That leaves us with Righteous Blow, Shock. Is that it? That's all we have? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, Skewer. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's not great. Concealed Weapon is also kind of a creature, right? So it says we have 15, but really we have like 17. And Bother can even be a creature. I have a lot of fours. I guess I'll cut a four. Is it Syndicate Messenger? Or is it this Gore Clan Wrecker? I think it's the Wrecker. Alright, it's our deck. 18 white and 8 red. We were mostly red in the first pack, too. I think this is 9 and 8 is the way to go. We don't. We have one double white card. So, yeah, this is good. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I think Footlight Fiend is worse than Haunted Witness. Oh, sorry, Haunted Witness. Reading's hard sometimes. Is Ornery Goblin better than any of these other ones? I don't think so. I think Fresh Face Recruit's better. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think this deck's good. I think it's very strong, actually. Um... The more we draw war, to, war leaders call, the better, though. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. Don't know how to say that. Call them R. All right. Looks looks solid, right? Missed in the two drop, but doesn't mean we can't draw one next turn. All right. Already way too many lands. <laughs> I don't think we go skewer to the face there. Alright, Righteous Blow. That's a good one. That'll give us a couple options next turn. Two, four, flying. Other creatures are flying at plus O, oh, plus one. And we drew the nuts, guys. Bash! They'll probably just trade, right? Will they trade with both? I mean, they can't, right? We have Righteous Blow, but... And I played the planes instead of the mountains so we could Righteous Blow. Alright, that's perfect, right? So they'll take four. Oh my god, I messed up, guys. Oh, I messed up so bad, guys. I was just thinking, like, oh yeah, okay, I'll, 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 right, just blow them now. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, I'm so sad. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus two, and has vigilance, addendum, enters the battlefield, it gains lifelink until end of turn. Okay. I really messed up there, guys. I'm very sad about it. Very sad. Ugh. I really messed up, guys. I think we just cure this 4-3.
Yeah, hopefully we're still okay after that. Kind of misplay, misclick. Great draw. Civic Stalwart, then we'll have a 5-4 and a 3-3. Three, three. They won't see the Righteous Blow coming. And they have no instance, which is amazing. We won't mess it up this time. Alright, so we did miss misclick misplay there. So, um... But we drew War Leader's Call, so we smashed him. So that's good. That's what we want to do. We want to do that every game, right? Uh, Wildcat. Okay. On the draw, but looks looks good. The show is in the play, but you know, what are you going to do? Anybody home? Mulligan, okay. Let's hope we punish this Mulligan guy. Not punish, right? I mean, we don't, I mean, I don't want to punch him when he's down, but, but I do want to punch him when he's down, right? All right, no more lands, please. All right, we're going to attack here. If they block, we will righteous blow it. Okay. I could skewer that. I think I'd just rather play another 3 1. Morphs don't get good until turn 5 anyway, right? I mean, that, now that he's double red, it could be like a dog walker. That would be pretty brutal for us, but. At least right now. We'll just take that. We'll. We'll win this race. Alright, so come, we'll do the same thing, essentially, this turn. Another Righteous Blow, great draw. I mean, anything that is in land is probably a great draw right now. If they don't block, I might play Burn Bright. They just go to seven, and we have a skewer of the critics in our hand. They take ten. I think that's worth worth doing. They have something for one green or one blue. I have literally no idea what they could have. Like, there's no morphs that cost one, right? One green or one blue. Nervous Gardener? But, like, they would have used it, right? I was gonna think... I was gonna think Pyrotechnic Performer, but they had this... They had the Simic Land open, right? Wow, that's a cool turn for them. We're in pretty great shape, though, with our two Righteous Blows. Curious why they did that now. So aggressive. I think that's worth doing. We take nine. Wow. So they'll definitely block our, um, now if we attack with both, right, they're definitely going to block one, right? So we can't really do that, because then we'll put them to four, and we'll skewer the critics putting them to one, which is a big bummer. That get a leg up was really good, really, really good for them. Um, I think we could still win, though. Just got to play pretty tight. So I think we'll just play a land. We'll skewer the critics on the pyrotechnic performer. And we'll just pass. Yeah, drawing a land there was pretty rough.
Yeah, we're at three, so um, we can't even... Like, we could have attacked, put them to four, lost our 3-1, and then Righteous Blow the Gadget Technician, but if they have anything, if they have another Pump Spell or something, they just win. So the plan will be if they attack with Gadget Technician... Okay, they don't. All right, if they don't play a creature on this turn, I could have Righteous Blow that. I don't want to. They'll probably play a creature on this turn, right? Who am I kidding? All right. I mean, we got a tight game. We just, we don't want to land here. I'm not sure what we want, but uh, that's pretty good. I am going to attack here. Although, if we do attack here and they have a removal spell, we lose, right? So we probably shouldn't attack. Yeah, we'll just play this and pass. We're still okay, right? Peacemaker, this is good, right? 3-3. Three, three. All right. <laughs> We each gain four life, so we take it easy. That's bad against us, though, right? Ugh, that's bad against for us, too. It's not the worst, right? I don't mind where we're at right now. Another land's not good. Alright, let's attack. block the 3-3. Three, three. They have no instance. We have a 1-1. One, one. They have one card in their hand. This is pretty key. What is this? Okay. We can't play this. We do have enough mana to play it and flip it, which is pretty sweet, although terrible, right? Oh, we don't have enough? It's 3 and... wait. Oh, we only have 7. One short. All right. All right. No instant in their hand. This is a five-five next turn, unless we draw a creature or something. Creature that costs two or less. So, what do we want now? I mean, really, anything that isn't a land, I'll probably be fine with. Like, Hunted Witness wouldn't be great, but it's not a land, so. Oh my god, what is this? What the hell is this card? Chamber Sentry, 4 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Pay X. What did I say? Hunted Witness would be, like, the worst card for us to draw. That's exactly what I said. All right, pay 5, return it from your graveyard to your hand. They don't have black for that. Pay X, tap it, remove X counters from this, this X damage any target. All right, not amazing. All right, we'll just attack here. So this would be a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I feel like they have to block there because they don't know what this is. All right, <sighs> looks like a win, guys. Unless they play us. No, this even goes back to their hand. Yeah, I think we got it. Close game, though. That's just a bear, right? Okay, well, they play a 4-4, gains Vigilance. All right, a land, huh? Uh, we attack with everything they have to block, so let's do it. I don't love that, guys. I don't love that, but I do get a token, right? So I have a blocker. We have our mountain, we go into full control, so I think we have something. Good game. Good game. Do they have a fog? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Two zero. Didn't draw perfect that game. Uh, we had a good start, but um, yeah, this is a strong deck. So. Dan Bat. Okay.
All right, on the draw. Three for three on the draw, but we have our one drop. Then we have a four and a five and a three. So hopefully we could draw a nice two. Even a three. And what I mean by a two or a three, I mean a two drop or a three drop. Oh, nice. Very nice. Scry three at upkeep. Nice. I had that card uh, earlier, a couple drafts ago, I think. I think when, when I had Nicol Bolas, I think I played that card. I think I also played a Zoni, so I think I had a double blue, a double black, a double green, and a Nicol Bolas in my deck. Didn't do so good on that one, that draft, guys. Spoiler alert. A long turn one, huh? All right, how's the officer? Great. I mean, if we could draw a Caracal here, here, my God, or a Season Consultant. Uh, not that lucky. But we did get a three, right? Which is nice. But if we had a two drop here, and then we play a Surveil two, okay. So has the officer pumps Haunted Witness, but I'm tapped out, right? So it's like. Big surprise, so we'll play the Crowd Control Warden here instead. Are they going to play the 4-4 now? No. Yeah, we don't have an out for the 4-4. Just, just like that, we just can't deal with the 4-4, so... Uh... I think we want to play inside source here. Just go super wide. And then we can watchdog next turn. Because if we play watchdog, it still like won't pump when we attack. How's the officer? Like I could pump this 2-2, but I don't think that's great. So. We'll just play inside source. And if we draw land, we could flip up this, which would be a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's a nice way to deal with a 4-4. Four, four. What is that? They draw a card, right? Bounce it, draw a card. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't think we flip it here. I think we can play Vigilante. Pumping... Hunted Witness, I think. Oh, do they have a quench or something? No, okay, good. That's good. That's a relief. They have something. And then we watchdog next turn with Skewer the Critic's Mana. Kill Cold Case Cracker. Or, if they play the 4-4, four, four, then we probably flip this guy, who will be a 7-7. Seven, seven. And if they do play the 4-4, four, four, they'll be not tapped out, right? But they'll only have 2 mana open if they play a land. But they have something that costs 2 mana. Okay, that's good. Okay. Do we just attack with our 2-2? Do we attack with Vigilante in the 2-2? That seems way better, right? This is 5 to flip. Yeah, Vigilante will pump this, so it'll be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, let's do that, guys. They don't have any instants, which is awesome. Boom! Roasted. And they're like at nine, just like that. One on top. Is it a land? I they didn't play a land last turn, so. I don't think they played a land last turn. Another cracker. Two mana open, which they ha they have something that costs two, right? 
We could watchdog and swing. This is not a detective. Watchdog, swing out. Then we have a 3-3, three, three, a 9-9, nine, nine, and a 2-2. Two, two. That's not really a good attack. I, I am worried they have like a bounce spell, which is pretty devastating for us. I think we just attack with the 8-8. Eight, eight. I guess we're hoping for a chump block and not like just a bounce spell. Then we could play a bunch of creatures. Probably play like these two. And then we have Watchdog next turn. Triple block would be pretty wild. Wow, look at them. Well, we don't have anything, so... Do they have like the Jousting Fairy? Minus two, minus oh? I don't know if it's called Jousting Fairy, but... Yeah, alright, that's, again, that's kind of what I thought they had, so. So, we'll just play, uh, they, they kept it on top. Okay, um, let's play the Morph, and we'll play Caracal. They kept that on top, which they did previously when they surveilled. Alright, no more land. Uh, um... That 1-4 is kind of a pain, huh? I could just attack again, right? Having a 7-7. Seven, seven. If I spend my whole turn playing a 7-7 seven, seven and they just bounce it again, that's not good for me, right? I could play Watchdog and swing out with everything. with uh, Righteous Blow mana up. I think we just attack with the Morph. Alright man, you know the drill. Ugh. That's rough. That was rough. Minus four, minus O. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like, should I rearrange their blockers differently? I feel like that's, like, yeah, in hindsight, for sure, but, like, you know? Just passing with a million mana up. Quench or something. Okay. Yep. So we could play Watchdog next turn. They do have a lot of mana open. Like, they didn't need to keep seven mana open to cast Quench on me, you know? Watchdog swing out. <clears throat> Alright, if they have a counter here, we probably lose. Alright. Well, we're going to swing out if we can. Okay, I guess we can't. 
the one four is the bane of my existence. <laughs> uh, we're pretty low on health, guys. Alright, we need a fuss, we need a burn bright, we need a war leader's call. And we need them not to have a counter spell. They put they scryed both their past two cards on the bottom, so I guess they're just splashing for Mortify, that seems reasonable. Alquist Prof can draw three cards and gain three life, I think. I don't want to read it and show them, remind them they have it, but Okay, we go to five, so we're pretty much dead next turn. I do think there's a world where we could be okay here. Concealed weapon is three and then three. If I put concealed weapon on one of my one ones, I'll gain four health, I'll go to nine. If I play Hazda Officer, pump a 1-1 one, one and attack, they'll probably block with Demir and Fort Informant. We'll gain 2 life, we go to 7, we lose on the swing back. We could skewer the critics on Cold Case Cracker, right? I think we has the officer a token or we or we yeah I think it's a token these aren't detectives of course right yeah I'm just gonna pump a 1-1 one, one attack we're, we're dead to quite a few things here I could attack with two one ones that would be guaranteed three health But uh, if I attack with two, I can righteous blow. All right, I'm doing it. I'm not sure if it's right. It's definitely wrong if I'm gonna draw a fuss or a war leader's call or something next turn. Gaining three life. They're thinking, okay, they want to gain three life, right? So I'm at 8, they can't kill me in the air next turn. So this is fine, I'm fine with this, right? Alright, now we can cast Skewer on Alquist Proft. So they don't gain a bunch of life. And draw a bunch of cards. But they'll just do it anyway, right? If we kill Cold Case Cracker, they could do it twice. I think we just kill Cold Case Cracker here, guys. And I'm just going to play Concealed Weapon. So, seemingly they'll use the props now. It's going to be hard for us to win. Certainly not impossible. But we need Fuss, War Leader's Call, or Burn Bright ASAP. Even Civic Stalwart would be pretty good. Which is a 4 mana 3 3 pump your team. But. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 cards you really want. That's 20% chance, so. I mean, they have a lot of cards in their hand now, right? Then they have a decent amount of mana. They'll probably play a land this turn that gives us eight them 8 mana.
I mean, that's that's not nothing, really. Take four, okay. It's not going to do it. All right, so seemingly they're going to bounce this token. And then we'll lose. That's my expectation. I'm going to attack with the witness too, I think. Maybe they'll kill it, and then we'll have another lifelink creature. A bounce spell on a token, we lose. Okay. We live to, live to tell uh, another tale here. We'll keep a land in their hand, and, uh, a land in play. Sorry, a land in our hand in case we... Uh, in case they have a discard outlet. Okay, still alive. They could draw two cards and gain two life if they want. That seems like a mistake, but... Right, they could have just used the Profit there. They would have just gained life. Hey, hey! Made the right choice there, keeping that land in our hand. This is draw one. Whenever you surveil, return this to the owner's hand. Okay, so maybe they'll play this again. Which, losing Righteous Blow, not the end of the world. I, I knew the Sphinx would be a problem. We, we, can't, we can't kill it. Like, we don't have an out for it. We have Shock and um, Righteous Blow. That's it, right? Like, skewer the critics. Alright, I mean, that was not great. So they can play Syndicate Messenger? I don't know, is there another card they want? Are they going to skewer the critics, mate? No, they can't. How's the Vigilant thing? Okay. Nah, not so lucky. I don't know. I mean, I just we'll just attack with a haunted witness. All right, we lose. It's a bummer. Really close too. Just just got just drew some lands at the wrong time. I think early on we wanted some, and then late we didn't want any, and we just got them in the wrong order. So, what are you gonna do, baby? Kick shot. Kick shot. All right, let's let's have some quick wins like we did game one, even game two. On the draw four times in a row. It's not very Boros of us guys. We do have a two drop and a three drop, which is nice. But it's a lot better if we're playing them before they play their cards. I think we play Sworn Companions next turn over How's the Officer. Guess we'll see what they play. Mm. That's a little spicy. Uh, I think Inside Source is probably better. Resolves right away. Hopefully they don't have the um, Is It Wrath, right? Ooh, Fuss. Nice. That's a nice one. Should we fuss now or should we wait? Like if we play Sworn Companions and then we cast Fuss next turn, it's like so much better. Right? It's like a lot better. Depends how they block here too, right? 
they'll probably block the 2-2. Two, two. We cast Foss, it dies, they take 4. No, I think we'll just... I think we just attack with the 2-2 two, two and the 2-1 here. Because if they block this, right? I don't want to waste the time out here. Sure. Now we can skewer. Should we skewer the Muse Drake? Nah, that's stupid, right? Yeah, I think we just go like this. Now Fuss is really good next turn. Hopefully they don't Wrath us. Alright, that's not that big of a deal. Watchdog, Swing. They have some pretty good blocks either way. We could skewer. No, we're only gonna lose. Like if we do this, we'll lose. We'll lose one token, right? Yeah, I think this is right. They'll block Chillbringer on a two-two. They take five. We gain two. Yeah. All right. We can cast Fuss next turn. All right. Nice. Cool, that's what we wanted. Another quick win like game one. Let's do it again. Okay. Albul. Albul. Alright, on the play. Cool. We'll play Fresh Faced Recruit first, I think, because he gets in for a little more damage than the Season Consultant. Then... not sure. Ooh, nice draw. Uh, I do wish this was a planes. Uh, I think we attack and we right cast Righteous Blow if they block. I don't think they're going to block, though. Yeah, okay, good. Alright, Concealed Weapon, do we skewer that? I don't think skewering is worth it. Concealed Weapon, I think... Yeah, let's cast Concealed Weapon. It'd be a weird block. It's too easy to kill that, right? Because it is first strike. I need to give it plus one, plus O, oh, or deal damage to it, you know? One, four. Okay. Alright. Crowd Control Warden, we can't flip right now because we don't have double white. We could attack with both, move this over, and then this is quite the threat. And we have Righteous Blow mana up, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Cool block. Take five, bro. All right, we got to keep getting through, though, right? One day they're going to have an out for our 5-1, so. Uh-oh, today's the day. All right. Well, we had a good run, guys. All right, I'd say that's a pretty good draw. I think that's what we play here, right? If we play Season Consultant, we can equip it, though. Is that better? I think that's better. Right, then we're using all four mana here. I'm not sure. I'm doing it though. Because next turn I'd have a 1 1 and a 2 2. I couldn't really get in. Now I have a 4 3. Alright, this is the 1 5. When they cast an instant or sorcery, they make a bird. That shouldn't really matter. Alright. Um. Let's attack with our 4-3. Take 4. Okay, so they plan on making some birds. 
Do we skewer the season consultant? And then play like inside source? I mean, that seems pretty good. I think we do that. And we have a pretty nice fuss next turn. And they're going to make a bird, probably, right? It's their big play. A planes off the top would be nice. We can have crowd control warden to actually be useful. And we'd also have righteous blow. No, we already have righteous blow and fuss man open, actually. Okay, second main phase. Ooh, burn bright's nice. Okay, let's do it. Just bash. Season consultant gets pretty big. Oh, they're gonna like cast out cold? No, okay, good. So we have two options here, burn bright or fuss. I think we're gonna cast fuss this turn, but Alright, what do you got, buddy? Probably a bounce spell or something, and then they'll try to block inside source with a bird or chump block. Maybe chump block season consultant with a bird. That makes sense. They gotta do something though. Hopefully they're just casting like deduce. That's it. Okay, didn't expect that. Uh, we will cast fuss here. I do think they have something, but I, I still think we, it's worth casting Fuss here. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. It's really not bad at all, right? We lose our inside source, we kill their Murmuring Mystic, unless oh, they have more. Plus one, plus two in Vigilance. So it's a two, seven. All right, so Righteous Blow is pretty key here. And Season Consultant still lives, so. I think that was that was fine for us. I think they thought it would be better for them than it was. They're still stuck on four lands. This card good. Flash, plus one, plus two. Yeah, this card is good. It is good. Plus one, plus two usually is good enough to win any combat. And then it's also like offensively. No, because you gain Vigilance, too. Yeah, that's a good card. You can gain a bunch of life on your turn, too, if you have, like, a dumb flyer. Another mountain. That's not a good draw. Alright, just, just attack. Okay. Don't need to attack with that. Play our Warden, which can be pretty close to being huge. I don't think we have like a Disenchant or anything on our deck, right? 1-3 Defender. Sack it. Target creature gains indestructible until the turn. That's a pretty solid card. Not amazing. That's pretty solid. How many, how can, how many, can we, ah, so many mountains. I don't want to land, period, but if it, it's, we need a planes, you know. I want to flip this thing over. Burn Bright's not very good right now. If we attack with a 5-2, like, they'll probably double block. With, like, the 1-2 and the 1-1, one, one, it's not, like, a very good trade for us. And, like, should I just assume I'm never drawing the planes? It's a 32% chance to draw planes every draw. Just attack. Just do it, right? We're Boros. Whoa! Okay. Alright, let's move it over. Alright, we already have five lands. We curve out at five. I don't think I need to play this mountain right now. 
if I draw planes, this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a 10 7. Oh man, I thought that was another <laughs> law of mage finding. Okay. Gain two life, that's key. I'm, I'll be expecting a land, right? No land. They don't. It went straight to combat because they don't have a land. How do they not have a land? Oh, guys, come on. It's like a. What was it? 12% chance to draw that? I don't want to trade with those. Do they want to make that trade? I think they might just chump block here. I hope they chump block and they don't double block. <sighs> Alright, good. Yeah, because the chump block, a uh, double block there, then we lose our morph. We just can't draw a mountain, dude. Like, there's so many good draws I can have. And they're just playing all these dumb one, <laughs> one fours and one threes. I don't even know what I want. Like, War Leader's Call is good, but it really it pumps one of my creatures. The rest of them are dead. We need a lot of help here. We just... Oh, God. Okay, another wall. We're playing the wall deck. Boros meets the wall deck. Yeah, I guess we want to make tokens. Oh, what? I'm, I don't want to stop here. Alright, well, great. Well, they can't kill it now. Just take it. Just take it. Take five. Double block? Yeah, buddy. Bang. That's nice. Two down, two to go. Alright. Land, probably, right? They're going to start drawing all their lands now. We're at a 39% chance to draw land, so... Okay, that's nice. Do we play it now? Like, it doesn't really help us right now, right? It makes our creature an 11-8. Oh, I think we just attack first. Jump block, right? So we play War Leader's Call, we'll have four mana open. So they can't counter us. And this, maybe we could start pinging them now with some creatures, you know? So we want... Alright, another cantrip. Swarm compa Sworn Companions would be great. Syndicate Messenger would be great. Oh god, what is this? Three mana, three three. Until in the turn, whatever creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a loyalty counter on this. Okay, that's cool. Minus one, create a Thopter, gain one life. Minus seven, look at the top ten cards of your library. Put three of them to your hand. The rest is about in your library in any order. All right, I mean that's not great. It gives them a bunch of blockers though. So plus one, oh minus one. Okay. All right, just just draw creatures over and over again. I wish I could like unconceal my concealed weapon, right? <laughs> Chump block, yeah, sure. Play another land. God. I would I, I would totally cast the cards that destroy all enchantments in play. They only have one card in their hand. We can we can win this. We just gotta stop drawing lands. Like even even Hunted Witness would be like pretty solid right now. Creature. Okay, that's a creature. I'm not attacking your planeswalker, bro. Keep it. 
I'm hoping at some point they like make a weird block so they go to one. I think I could play a mountain here just to be safe. Alright, so that's an instant in their hand, right? No, I guess they won't go to one with War Leader's Call and play, right? I could have moved over the concealed weapon, but... Are they going to attack with two creatures or one? Is it once per turn? No. Alright, let's draw another creature, right? Oh yeah, that's the good one too. That's the good one. We move this over here, that's seven, eight, nine. Alright, this could kill them if we I could have done this last turn, I understand that. Okay. I mean, am I, am I doing too much if I do this? Like, if they cast Wrath, I think it might be. I think I, I think I just pass. Like, there is a Wrath in the format. Has Defender and loses flying. Okay. Okay, I guess I played too conservatively. It's not over yet, though. Alright, let's attack. I do regret not playing this last turn, but... I think we're still pretty, pretty safe here. On the job! That's the card they had? All right, time to sh time to put them away now. All right, please no more lands. Just like give me like three turns in a row with no lands, right? They'll then they'll definitely be dead. What do we even want to draw? Just like. Any any creature, of course, but yeah, there's no creature is particularly better than any others. Others, so ah, they can kill another one of my creatures. Yeah, I guess I really messed up not playing that earlier. God, and they could double block our two two. We need a creature here. That's a really good draw. That's 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 lucky. That's a good draw. Chump block, we gained six, too. That's pretty big. That was a good draw. That was very fortunate. Ah, we got it. Woo! Close game. Close game. Almost almost punted by not playing that. I just thought, yeah, it was probably too conservative. I probably should have thought it through. Like, okay, yeah, if they have one removal spell, then it's just one versus one, and they have a Planeswalker that makes creatures every turn. So, that's okay. Kazumi Nakamura. wonder if that's, like, an actual like magic player, like a famous person or something. Kazumi Nakamura. Kazumi Nakamura. There's a Japanese painter with that name. Maybe he's a Japanese painter. Well, maybe he's a... Wait. Wait. Nope. Nope. Not famous! 
Planes. Haunch. Alright, so we play our shock and we immediately pass the turn. We don't want them to know we have we have shock, right? But we also want to shock something if they if they play like if they play their own caracal next turn. Alright, let's play our Caracal? Yeah. All right, no more lands, please. Interesting card. Turn three planeswalker, huh? Mm -hmm. Hopefully they equipped the uh, haunch or something, or they do plus one. Hope they do plus one. Minus one. Okay. They're smart. But I'll make an exception for you. Nice deck. Jeez. Ooh. Uh, okay. So we play Stalwart. Attack their planeswalker, they'll block. And then next turn we can play War Leader's Call and Fresh Face Recruit. I think that's best, right? That way we have two creatures next turn too. They'll trump block. Come on, you're gonna trump block. Don't waste my damn time. They keep reading haunch. It's two and tap it to sack. All right, pretty good hand for them, right? Shock, Sky Knight, Legionnaire, and this Dovin card. Back-to-back -back Dovin uh, matchups. So this would be a 2-4. All right, don't have to worry about that card anymore. Bash. All right, let's just draw creatures the rest of the game, right? Just creatures. We already have six lands. Mine are better. Let's draw... You know, Righteous Blow would be pretty solid. Let's draw Fuss. Fuss and bother. We could even cast bother, bother right now. Karlov Watchdog? Oh, that would be great. They have one card in their hand. They're going to read their haunch again. All right, we want Karlov Watchdog. That's, that's our dream card here. Or Fuss and Bother. I think either one would be pretty good. I think Watch Talk's better, though. Because it's a creature, right? So it'll do the same thing, but it'll also ping them for one, and it'll be a 4-3 Vigilance. They are out of timeouts. Attacking, huh? Yeah, I mean that's a that's a pretty solid play to be honest. Do they win this race? I don't. I feel like they don't, right? If they have a shock or a, whatever the card I just said I wanted, righteous blow, that would be pretty good for them. But all that resolved right away. All right, if they have like on the job or something, we're dead, right? Go to full control. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If they, on the, we're dead to on the job. If they swing out, we definitely block fresh face to recruit. We're dead to on the job. 
And if we lose this game, you know, they drew the nuts, we drew, not the nuts, but pretty close to the nuts, and they won because they were on the play. Fine. I don't hate that. I don't think they have on the job, otherwise they would have cast it already, so. Fuss doesn't kill us. They need plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two to kill us. Or just, yeah, whatever. Yep, all right, we have to make the block. Dead to on the job. I mean, they have to go for it, right? Haunch makes puppies, but I think they're tapped puppies. No, they're not tapped. So, yeah, I think they make puppies and they have a blocker and then they kill us in the swing back. No, not necessarily. Let's see what we draw. It's definitely good draws we have we could have, right? Fuss and bother would be great. Burn bright is probably lethal. Um because season consultant will have four power, so will Civic Stalwart, so Inside source is two pings. Bother is actually, th you know, three pings if I want to play bother instead of fuss. They're really in the tank here. I mean, I, I get it, right? Uh, what's going on? I'm so confused. Uh-oh. Something wrong? Guys, I don't know what's happening. I'm going to close arena. I don't know what's happening. Arena is closed. Arena is opening back up. Uh, what? What happened, guys? <laughs> Uh, 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 I don't know, guys. Maybe he scooped? No, because I feel like I played, this is my sixth game. I have internet. What the hell's going on? I think I'm going to get a loss. I don't... I don't know. But I think that's my sixth... That was my sixth game, I think. Guess we'll see what happens after this game. We're on the play, though. Hand looks good. Caracal, inside source. We draw another land, Syndicate Messenger. No, we can't kill that. That's a bummer. With Righteous Blow. Uh, do we attack into it? What a perfect 1-3 flyer right now. I don't think we attack into it. No pump spell that gives toughness in our deck. 
And they're curving out to the uh, nuts against us. All right. Well, we have a nice flyer that can get through. All right. There, the flying deck. All right. They can't kill Syndic Messenger if we attack, right? Ooh, Vigilante is nice. I guess we got to play that, right? Pump up Syndicate Messenger. Can't attack now, though. But all right, let's draw Fuss. No. Oh, fine, take it. I don't even need that one. Art. I wonder if they're aggressive or they're just drawing all the good stuff. All right. Uh, let's attack with our bird. They could swing back with more bird, but I think that's okay. Alright, let's draw Fuss and Bother, or War Leader's Call, or Burn Bright. Especially because we don't know. This could be our last game, guys. We don't know. I don't know how many losses I have. Bang. No pump spell, right? They don't have a pump spell. Come on. Yeah, come on. Get that out of there. Kellen. Alright, well. What is this again? I forgot what it was. Uh, Alright, if they double blocked, we would kill... Uh, not great for us. Maybe we just attack with this big old Vigilance guy. 4-2 Vigilance. And then we can also flip the morph. I think that's good, right? They have 22 health. So, they have one mana open. I don't think they have anything. They could, but I don't think they have anything. All right. Surprise! Okay, they have three cards. Let's hope they don't pump up Kellen. God, imagine if they have a fight spell. They pump Kellen and kill our guy. Oh, that's pretty good. Forgot about that. Do you guys remember that? Doesn't even have to deal damage just to attack. All right, no cards. Shock is good. I don't think I attack with the three one. Because I don't want to trade with projector inspector. I want I want to keep my creatures. My creatures are valuable, you know. Gain two life or loot. Okay, that's good. I think that's probably worth shocking. Create two colorless stop their creatures with flying, then you gain life for each creature you control. This is a cool, nice deck they have. This, like, kind of uh, Azorius beatdown. I can't attack anymore, though, so. This is just detective, right? It's just completely useless. <laughs> I think it, Inside Source clearly gets a little worse um, in this Chaos format. It's still good, though. Morph. I'm going to guess that's the 3-2. 
the the blue white uh, common morph. I think our game plan is to just play a bunch of creatures and then make them big at some point. Well, that's good. Uh, if I play this, the Kellen still like eats most of these creatures. Right, Syndicate Messenger, they just take four, right? Then Kellen can eat fresh base recruit. Prowling Caracal could just be you know, like chumped. I think we just pass. I could just play it, but like it's still just a 3 3 that Kellen can eat all day. So that is a problem with this deck, right? Like a makeshift binding would have gone a long way. And you know, now that they took this Hodge the Vigilante, it is like, you know, I have Crowd Control Warden still, but. That's pretty useless. Wow, do they have on the job? They probably have on the job. Do they really have on the job? That would be sad. Alright, I'm going to assume they have on the job. I'm going to make my blocks as if they have on the job. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Okay. No, they don't. Okay. All right, we'll just play this now, I guess. <laughs> You think they're good enough that they know they had four mana up and they attacked and bluffed the on the job? That would be pretty pretty good for them. Uh oh. Uh oh. So Kellen could eat those uh, tokens all day too. Draw a card, right? So we are going to take five here. Too bad skewers a sorcery. I think this might be our last game, guys, because we don't know what happened last game. Uh, we'll attack with the Stalwart. He'll just take it, I'm sure. We want to attack there, right? Because we're probably not going to... We don't need it as a blocker. Now we have to block. Take two, we go to four. We have another blocker for Kellen next turn. Not good, Bob. Yeah, I wish my curve was a little lower so I could have played 16 lands. I feel like there's too many games where I just drew too many lands. Ugh. I guess we block there, right? Like we don't we don't have an out. We cannot possibly win. All right, I mean, we drew very well. We were on the play, but our opponent just had a counter to everything we did. We played a 3-1 on turn one. They played a 1-3 on turn... Uh, sorry, on turn two. And they played a 1-3 on turn two. So, um... All right, it says we're still 4-2. Um, maybe I'm counting my games wrong, but I feel like there's a game they just haven't included in this, so... Um... But I don't know who would have won that game. I, it was definitely close. It looked like me, but I don't know. Can't say for sure. K K Moon K Moan K Moan. 
On the play. Very slow hand. Let's draw a two drop here. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Not so lucky. Ooh. Ooh. I like that meme. Ooh. My brother. Ooh. You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, if I block here, I trade, right? Nope. Not going to make that trade. Triple black. I like it. 3 1. I think we skewer that thing, right? Skewer bash. I think skewer bash is the way to go here. They're playing triple swamp. Means maybe they're in some mana issues. We'll see. Of course not. Vigilante cannot pump Hazda, officer. Each creature blocking it. So I can fuss, but... Uh, I think we just cast Vigilante here anyway, right? So we could play Season Consultant next turn, and then attack. So Vigilante will pump it then. Then we'll pass. What do you got, buddy? End of turn? Kill something? Sack a creature. I don't know, that card doesn't seem great, but I guess Diabolic Edict is like a solid card, right? I just don't feel like it's very good and limited. All right, Season Consultant attack or Fresh Faced Recruit attack? I think Fresh Faced Recruit might be better, right? I feel like Hazda Vigilante is going to die this turn. No! How about that? Oh, man. These are both good. Now I regret playing the land. <laughs> uh, man, I love Fuss and Bother so much. Don't play another rat. Okay. Should I play bother? Why are you scooping so early, bro? You have three cars in your hand. All right. I'll take it. I'll take the win. All right. I still have two losses. I wasn't sure if I'd have three losses after that one. So I'm still not sure about that other game. Like, did I win? I feel like I didn't win. I thought it looked like my win-loss record was the same. Uh, on the play, wish we had a two drop, but just draw a two drop here, please. No, I don't think we play concealed weapon. It, it's better as a creature. Two two. Okay, we'll play our um, Play inside source here, because next turn civic stall work and pump the whole team. Evidence examiner. Uh, I don't know if we cast civic stall work though. I think we could just cast a messenger here. Right, civic stall work gets better every turn, right? I should have attacked with a 2-2. That was a mistake. Right? They probably don't block. They probably take 2. Shock is good. Alright, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to attack with the 2-2 and the 2-3. See what happens. They have 4 mana up. My plan is to probably play Righteous Blow. Or Shock. I guess we'll see. Maybe I'll cast nothing. That's what I'm hoping for. Maybe out cold they're going to play. Good thing we didn't cast Civic Stall Word, huh? I'm thinking about shocking the Evidence Examiner. 
so they can't collect evidence, but like who cares, right? They just get a clue. Like shock, I could do something better with shock. I think I want to leave white open. That way they won't know I have the shock too. They'll probably collect evidence for now. That's okay, right? They just get a um, <clears throat> a clue. Health collector. That's a good one. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies. So this gets a plus one, plus one counter, right? What did that just do? The fight. Okay. Oh my god, guys. I punted by not having the shock mana open, huh? Just a 3-3 three, three all of a sudden? Alright, I'm going to attack with the... Morph and the 1-1. One, one. I don't know, guys. What do I do here? I could just, like, attack with three things. I feel like I, want, I can get more equity out of Burn Bright. I love that they're tapped out right now, though. Like, I could just swing out here and see what happens. Yeah, F it, right? Let's do it. I'm, I'm upset about my shock misplay, but... That's it? That's all you got? What a wimp. Alright, so we're going to Righteous Blow that, I think. Does Pell Collector get bigger again? If the, cre if the power is greater. Okay, got it. We'll just play Hunted Witness here. This is six to flip? Oh, God. Okay, well, I mean, I guess if they do that, we just shock. And it's not to flip, sorry, but... Will they do it with two mana up? Oh, my God, they're doing it. Holy sh... Shoot. I feel like we just won. Right? Like, are they dead? Three, six... Oh, my God. What a blowout for them. War leader's call, I guess. Civic stalwart, just attack with the flyer and the token and the morph. Well, war leader's call. Just so many, so many ways to blow up my opponent. I could just swing out with everything and then play Burn Bright. Then they'll take 3, 6, 9, 12. I don't know, guys. What do we do? I think we'll play Stalwart. God, I hope they don't have a wrath. Please don't have a wrath. Please don't cast wrath. Ay ay ay. We we still might be fine. I don't know. They have a five five now. They're at nine, right? We have Sworn Companions, which hits them for two. We have Bother. Well, we can't cast Bother, though. All right, so what do they get? They get the 3-3. Three, three. Inside Source, Syndicate Messenger. Take five, it's fine. Come 
Come on, we can win this game, guys. I don't believe they have Wrath. That sucks. Alright, now they're at 8. We have a 2 4. I don't think we attack. Finality. Put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control, then all creatures get minus four, minus four until the turn. So even if I played War Leader's Call first, I still still um, lose all, all my creatures. Damn, man. Get wrathed. We could double block that in Righteous Blow. We'll lose Season Consultant and gain two life. I think we'll take five for now. Ah. Uh. This is attacking creature, creatures you control. Alright. Look at the top five cards of your library. Alright, whatever. Draw a card. Wow, so they can make that really big if they take some counters off Pelt Collector. Right, if they take one off Pell Collector, two go on that. Yeah, we lost now, guys. We can't get past that. Woo! Attack with the flyer, probably. Yep. Okay. Damn, guys! We got Wrathed with a lot of creatures in play. One, two, three, four, five, six creatures we lost. That's a bummer. Well, we still had that one mystery game, right? Uh, you know what? Let me. I could tell, right? Let me go on untapped. What happened? What happened untapped? Can you tell me what happened? Going to untapped. All right. It says we're five three, which is what we are. So it doesn't even have that guy because he had some Japanese Nakamura, right? Kazumi Nakamura. I googled the guy. It's just not there. It's just not there. Like like as if that game never happened. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys can't see it. You'll have to take my word for it. But win, win. We lost. We beat. Uh, we just trounced the deck early, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever, guys. We went five three. The game against the Nakamura guy never happened. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, feel free to leave some feedback or something, right? Um, thanks, guys. Catch you in the next one.